Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next video about the CZ Scorpion EVA. And I found a possible issue, especially with the pistol configuration that I have here. One, <laughs> if your uh, red dot is co-witnessing with the irons, it is very low and your neck will bend. So in this configuration, as I have a DTRS, it is very nice and comfortable to shoot, but your neck will bend quite low to be able to see the red dot. It has disadvantages. Obviously, if it was an SBR, this would be more comfortable in a stock, would be at an angle, but it's not. And I'm not planning to SBR it because I want to be able to carry it loaded. Cannot do that with an SBR in this great country of ours. Anyhow, different issue, more technical. As you can see, Regular magazines work just fine, single. Um, I have multiples, I have tried eight mags, also with the slide down, bolt chambered, it all works. Even better when it is in that position. However, if I use CZ sold uh, couplers. If it is set high, it can get in the way of the mag removal. And basically I have run into an issue where I have finished using one mag and I could not remove the magazine from the pistol. So if it's low, this is a single, and you can see it is lower than the magwell. It works just fine. However, in this situation, I don't want to put it all the way in. You can see how low, how high this is. That will create you an issue. I really don't want to do this, but you can see right now, it requires a lot of extra strength to remove it. Thus, I do not recommend using those couplers that high and move them down. That is all, folks. Otherwise, this is a great pistol. I'm going to include a very short uh, video uh, from the gun range uh, where I'm shooting with those couple of magazines from CZ in the Scorpion EVO S1. And you can see it works just fine up to a certain point. At the end of this video, you will see the situation that actually <laughs> has resulted in the problem. And it's a normal action, nothing special. So the pistol is extremely accurate and yes I am even putting it to the check, not the shoulder. But so you can see right now I'm trying to remove a couple of magazines. Uh, from the pistol, and it is not letting See the situation? Both mags are empty. Everything is normal. So, one possible solution to having the issue with the couplers on, and you still want to use two magazines, Put them all the way down. These are the same magazines you just saw in the previous video, but I basically took a hammer and moved it all the way down, kind of like that. So now the same magazine. Works as expected. So this could be the guidance on how to use those coppers. Uh, whichever way you w want to do, if you have 
if you want to have no issues at all, use singles or lower them down and watch, make sure that they stay down. That is the very short point to this pistol and how to use the CZ supplied mag couplers. Are they worth $12.95? Honestly, I'm beginning to doubt that, especially since you need a pair for each pair of mags. It gets closer to the price of the magazines themselves. I would rather buy maybe some more mags since they're only 20 bucks a piece. But you do get 60 round capacity from the moment of get go. And that has a plus of its own for home defense situations and so forth. Thank you for watching. This was Practical Weapons and the video is over. If you like it, subscribe. If you have questions, ask. I will try to answer to all comments that have been received on the channel. Thank you very much. So as the ultimate home defense uh, configuration, as that is what I'm planning to use the Scorpion for. Home defense, car defense. The pistol itself with the brace, red dot and the light weighs 6.2, slightly less than 6.3 pounds. If I add a coupled pair of magazines, 25 rounds each. This, these are the simple 115 grain. And that makes it 8.1 pounds. So that is the home go-to configuration. You have everything you need for home defense. If you need more than 50 rounds for home defense, uh, you might be living in the wrong neighborhood. Or you're defending against zombies, and in that situation you need all kinds of ammo. More and more and more and more. And in that situation, start loading up. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching Practical Weapons channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe. If you don't, comment. <laughs> and don't be afraid to click on the like button. Thank you much.